Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to this special ad hoc edition of the unapologetic Negropian. Uh, ad hoc because I've had some equipment problems in the last few days. I don't know if you've noticed but I've been posting some old videos uh, lately um, that I made but never um, published. Um, I also um, am struggling to get my phone repaired so but within a week we should be back uh, on track so please bear with me uh, I'll be making videos like this and they won't be brilliant they'll be unscripted and uh, they'll be unedited but uh, please like I said bear with me and I'll be back on track very soon. So, <clears throat> without further ado, I wanted to speak with you about the K and K Squad, the African American family uh, who have moved to Ghana, who made a video not long ago saying uh, why I'm moving back to America. I believe it was something like that. Um, I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, share, and click the bell notification. And I want to unpack this a bit because who are K and K Squad? If you don't know who they are, I didn't know who they were until I watched this video. Um, and they are an African American couple. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how long they've been with each other for, but they're an Af African American couple, a whole family actually. They have four kids, and they have moved to. Ghana and yeah they are um, <clears throat> living out there and I really wish I could just show you the video but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description box it's only a six minute video there's two videos I think okay and I've watched them both there's a one hour video one hour ranting about Ghana <laughs> nothing positive they're saying about it and then there's a six minute video where she's just saying, I'm packing up my stuff, I'm going, I'm leaving. She's telling the reasons why. So um, I'm gonna put a link in the description to the six minute video because I'm not sure if you want to see the one hour rant. Maybe I'll put, I'll put the one hour video in. Let me know if you, if you want me to put it in, in the description box below. Just let me know in the comment section and I'll, uh, I'll I'll post both of them. Okay, so what are their problems? Okay, so they have a problem with the fact that um, that the electricity is not stable, that they don't have hot water, um, they have an infestation of all sorts of bright colorful animals, lizards, spiders, ants, the works, okay? I don't know where they're living, but they have this. Um, they're saying that the housing is too expensive um, and um, they also don't like the fact that at every given opportunity that people are trying to scam a little bit more extra money from them constantly. Um, now, um, I, I've got to admit, right, all those problems do exist. <laughs> okay, I don't think that they are lying about these problems. Um, I, I, there have been a lot of people that have been saying some pretty damning stuff about them. Um, saying that uh, they they essentially and it does look this way it looks like they didn't do their homework before they went to africa um which is really strange and this is why a lot of people are questioning them because they're like they've moved their whole family to a country Without due process, without due due diligence, that they, they didn't do enough research. All these things, we know. You should know 
that people uh, are going to try and and take and add a little bit of more extra cash from you. All those things that they were talking about, the the animal infestations, the the people trying to add a little, uh, get uh, you know, just get a little bit more extra cash from them, charging them tourist prices, um, uh, unstable electricity, all those things. I got all those things in Thailand when I was there eight months ago. It's not a strange thing to happen in countries which are, are still developing. So what did they expect? Why were they expecting their experience to be at a Western standard? They must have known that it wasn't going to be that way. Um, so yeah, I find that very, very strange. It's almost as if they submerge themselves into this situation and it's clear that they were unable to deal with it. Now, a lot of people have been saying, oh, um, these guys are agents, they're, they are actors, they're paid actors for sure, you know, and, um, um, and the reason why people are saying this is because on their same YouTube channel, they have videos of them in some sort of um, it's one of those shows, one of those court shows like Judge Judy. I think it's called Divorce Court. And you got these two in Divorce Court. You know, and <clears throat> I didn't watch it because I don't watch that rubbish. <laughs> Even a clip, I'm not going to watch it. But you had these two in Divorce Court on domestic television. And once you enter those realms, people are always going to question you, like Vanessa Camby. <laughs> She's got a lot of stick as well, because she has also entered the commercial world, um, being on the BBC and so forth. So when, once you've entered that world, people are going to question, because you're going to have been around people who don't have, um, they don't, they don't care about us, us, as, as Africans, you, they, and you're going to be around a lot of those people there, when you enter domestic television and domestic radio over in the States or over in Europe, so, <clears throat> this is the problem that, that these two K and K squad, that they are having, um, do I think they are agents? I don't think they're agents. I don't think they're agents. I think that they are two people who are just in over their head, who didn't do their due, due diligence, which is, I mean, if you're going to a country anyway, right, that, that you know is still developing, you would, you would do your, your, research wouldn't you excuse me you would do your research because you don't want the worst to happen and you're not prepared if you're taking your kids over there of course you're going to do your research there is no way these people should be getting angry at some of the things that they're getting angry at. They should have known that this stuff is going to happen. You know, when you listen to them speak, you can tell that they haven't been well-travelled. They just, they just haven't been. Or if they have been well-travelled, like if they've been in the military, they've been coddled, you know. They've been in places for, for short periods of time. <clears throat> or they've remained on their bases, or whatever. I don't know if these guys have been in the military. I'm just saying that, the, you know, there is many different types of travelling experiences. I don't think these two have any travel experience. Now, if you had travel experience, you would have done a lot of research before moving your entire family over to a country 
and now being in a position where you're going to upheave that entire family and bring them all the way back to America. Now, I've got to say, I'm a little disheartened with the way people have been reacting to them. I, I, I think it's... Um, I, th I think we need to be a lot more supportive of people like this. I, I do, and I know. I, you know, I was reading some of the comments in the in the comments section. Wadamaya got in contact with them. Wow, big boy. So, um, I it would be really nice to see if he goes and meets up with them, sits down with them, have a chat with them. I think he was genuinely stunned by the by the video as well, because I think he's scratching his head, asking himself, well, "Where are you living?" <laughs> you know? What part of Accra are you living in? Because, wow, it sounds like a nightmare, but, you know, there are many people who are going over there who are not voicing these types of problems. And it's not because they're not happening. It's because they expected them to happen in the first place. You understand? So, um, Wadamaya hopefully will go and sit down and have a chat with them, see you know, uh, whether he can <laughs> convince them to stay. But from the comments section, what I was reading, they were getting a lot of pushback from both African-Americans and um, Continentals. There was not a lot of nice things being said of them inside there, which is really sad. I do. I find that really sad. I think that we sh we should be more supportive of people like this, um, and um, we have to commend them. Although perhaps they weren't being brave, they were perhaps being a little naive in going to Africa without doing their research first. The fact that they actually did it. Whilst many of us, diasporans, are still here in the diaspora moaning about how bad our lives are here, they actually got up and did it. That is to be commended. That is, uh, I, I gotta respect that, you know. They are spending a lot of money <laughs> being there. I think she said something about. $160 a day for their car rental. <laughs> Who rents a car for $160 a day? You can buy a decent car in Ghana for $3,000. Why would, why would you do that? Man, just silly schoolboy mistakes that these people are making, really. I'm just, I'm scratching my head as well. They just seem to be two people that don't have the, the travel experience to know that, hey, this is just the way things are here. Um, they don't shout out to me to be the two kind of people that would be. Uh, being malicious on purpose to try and teach people not to come there, all right? I think they've had a bad experience and they are looking to um, tell people about their bad experience. All of the things that they were talking about w weren't a lie. I didn't hear anything which wasn't the truth, all right? These things happen. These things happen. But yeah, it's, um, we're going to see what happens. <laughs> I, 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 um, like I said, Vladimir is going to go and see them. And uh, it will be interesting to see what they have to say to him. And whether he can actually pick, out, pick apart whether they are actually genuine. Or whether they, are, they have been sent by um, Muzungus to uh, poison the minds of the American diaspora so they have absolutely no want to come to Ghana. Um, this video 
it, it, it's, it's gone viral because most of the Americans that go to Ghana stay. They love it there. And she's struggling to understand this herself. Um, I think that if she... Listen, I, I don't want to be... I, I don't want to be disrespectful, but I think she just focuses on herself a bit, loses a bit of weight, eats right, you know, starts moving around a bit. I, I think she would eventually fall in love with Ghana, like many of us in the diaspora have before we've even gone there. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Um, if you have any questions or comments in the comment, in, in the... Uh, <laughs> If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the description box below. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Tarara bit.